Hey guys! In this video, I'm going to share a 5 below haul of some items that I purchased for my kid. Now, I've always been a big fan of dollar stores. I've loved buying decor and craft items and trying to find supplies so I could do my own DIY projects. I always think it's so fun to go and just even like browse at all of their seasonal items. But after my son was born, my interest expanded even more into more of the educational items, like they have different types of flashcards and books, and even just balls and balloons for playtime activities. However, since the start of the pandemic, I've completely stopped going to the dollar store. And unfortunately, buying with them online can also be tricky because many of the items have to be purchased in bulk, um, which kind of defeats the purpose for me. So what I've been doing is purchasing items from Five Below's website instead. So I wanted to go ahead and share with you some fun, inexpensive things that have really been a hit with my kid in case it's helpful for anyone. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So one of my favorite discoveries from Five Below are these little sets that come with a small plush toy and a book. There are three separate sets that I am showing here. I feel like they are just so cute and they had a few other ones available too. So if your kid is interested in stuffed animals or books, I feel like this is such a great little gift. I would definitely recommend these, but I just want to note that they are on the small side. Along the same lines of plush toys, we also got this Olaf from Five Below as well. I feel like it is just so cute and it's a perfect size. It's not too big, not too small. It actually has some really nice detail too. There's little sparkly snowflakes all over it. And we actually had bought our child a different battery powered Olaf, which was much more expensive. We ended up having to return it because something about it just freaked him out. So I feel like this one has a friendlier face and honestly, you just can't beat the price. We also purchased this inflatable three ring kiddie pool. Now it is definitely on the smaller size, but for us, the compact size actually worked really well. We've used it indoors and out on our deck, and our child has so much fun with it even when there's no water in it. He just likes to sit in it and pile up his animals and take them in and out. And my husband even put our son's slide into it when we filled it with water, and he had such a blast going into it over and over and over again and I was honestly kind of nervous that the plastic of the slide might be too hard and it might like puncture the pool but it's surprisingly pretty sturdy I would say it's lasted us a pretty long time and I feel like it's a really great purchase if you're looking for a compact and easy to store pool. Good job! Yeah. Awesome! Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. You did awesome! <laughs> you did it! We also bought this giant tennis ball. Now, I don't know what it is about this thing. Everyone who sees it loves it. There's just something about it. It's just super cool. It's not too heavy or too hard, so it can't really hurt you if your kid, like, bounces it off your head or something. And trust me on that. I am speaking from experience. Another fun item is this giant rainbow spring toy. My kid had never seen anything like this before. Oh, and you better believe I tested it to make sure it does that cool walking down the stairs trick. My research is very thorough, you guys. I also got this super random purchase. It's an inflatable ottoman with glitter inside, and you can choose between either gold or silver, and we ended up getting the silver one. And I have no idea why I got this, you guys, but maybe it's just me, but I think it is so pretty, especially when the sun hits it. And my son just loves to throw it around and roll it and climb on top of it and see all the glitter shaking around all over the place. And um, it's just fun. And I, I couldn't find a link to this anymore, but sometimes they even have a cover available for this. Uh, I think they might be sold out, but 
I believe it came in white, pink, or navy if I remember correctly. And I purchased the navy one which I feel like looks pretty decent and it does let you prop your feet up. I also purchased this chalkboard for my son. It did come with glitter on it and I absolutely despise glitter. I feel like it ends up everywhere and it's impossible to get rid of it but I ended up just covering up that part and I flipped it over and used the back instead. And it comes with this little string attached which I use to hang from the wall with a command hook. This way we can use it vertically or horizontally. And it comes with a couple pieces of white chalk which is great. No colors means no stains to worry about. So this was fun and a super inexpensive purchase. You did it. Good job. Good job. The last item that I'll talk about today are flashcards. Five Below has several different options that you can choose from, but I will say I feel like these go out of stock all the time. I've had to check back a few times to wait for the ones that I wanted to be available. But flashcards have been such a great learning tool for my son. We use them for colors, numbers, alphabet, matching. I even ended up sticking some on the door of his room just as a colorful educational way to have that information displayed around him to get him more familiar with it. And they were only a dollar. So honestly, I feel like it's such a no brainer if you have kids. I would definitely recommend purchasing some of these from Five Below. It is a... Good. Where's Apple. Apple. What letter is that? X. Good job. S. Good job. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. I know a lot of us have been missing going to our favorite stores due to this whole pandemic. And even though online shopping is convenient, it can also be super hard to decide what to buy without being able to actually touch or physically see the products in person. So I hope this video was able to help with some of that. I would really love to hear any feedback from you guys in the comments and I would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.